Good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. You know, coming up in just about a month from now, voters in the city of Boston will narrow the field of four mayoral candidates down to two and then choose from those two in, on the first Tuesday in November. And starting today, we're going to give you an opportunity to hear from all four candidates in the mayoral preliminary, and then we certainly hope to uh, present you with a debate between the final two. Uh, come the fall. But we're going to kick off this series of interviews this week with one of the four candidates who'll be on your preliminary ballot, Joseph Wiley, a resident of East Boston who works in health care insurance and is a first time candidate for mayor. Joe, welcome. John, thank you very much for having me. Glad to have you in. You. So, why are you running? Well, uh, a combination of emotions uh, uh, that I was feeling uh, trying to make this decision. Um, uh, dissatisfaction, outrage, uh, shame in some cases about the way the city, the direction the city is, is heading in, as, as I see it. Uh, the uh, housing situation here is uh, the Boston Foundation described it as a crisis, the cost of housing in Boston. And uh, that was a few years ago, and I don't see that that situation has abated uh, at all. Well, let me follow up on that, because uh, the incumbent, Mayor Walsh, uh, claims that they've been making tremendous progress on bringing new affordable housing to the city. They claim they've built uh, over 13,000 new units of housing, more than 5,000 of them affordable for low- and middle-income people, that they have an additional 8,400 units currently under construction, and they claim they're more than 90% of the way toward meeting their own target of 6,500 new low-income units by 2030. How could you do better? Well, uh, I think part of the, in reviewing those statistics uh, put out by City Hall, you have to ask yourself, who are these units affordable to? Uh, it's my understanding that the majority of them are affordable to people of middle income, which uh, basically starts at around $80,000. Uh, half of the city of Boston makes $35,000 or less. Uh, we have thousands of homeless people in this city. We have 1,300 homeless families. 3,000 of our Boston school students, our children in our schools, are homeless. Um, I, my question is, how many of these units are, are affordable to people in that situation, making $35,000 or less? I don't think very many. And uh, just to, uh, as far as the 2030 uh, projection, uh, City Hall itself said that Boston will need some 30,000 additional affordable units by 2030, and we're nowhere near uh, coming near that. Uh. So if you're the mayor next year, what will you be doing differently on this front? Well, in times past, Boston has, has stepped up to the plate and done extraordinary things. The last time that we had a housing shortage this massive uh, occurred in the late 1800s, around 1870. And uh, the uh, solution then was to, over the next uh, 50 years, build uh, 15,000 three-deckers that we see uh, in different parts of the city. Uh, and that created 45,000 apartments for working class and middle class people. I think we need something on, on that level, on that scale, to uh, solve this uh, problem that's been plaguing us for decades. Where are we going to get the money to do that? Well, that's a good question. That's a good question. I think it's going to take a combination of, uh, frankly, a, uh, a uh, public effort. The city itself is going to have to invest uh, money uh, in this project. Uh, it could also be a combination of uh, low-cost uh, loans to developers, uh, tax uh, breaks for developers. Um, uh, well, we, ha we have to take a break, but would you favor seeking a uh, Prop 2.5 override to raise revenue for this purpose? If necessary, yes. You would favor that? Yes, yes. Any other kinds of tax changes in the city taxation to get our hands on this money? Well, I, I think people that can afford to uh, pay two, three, four million dollars for a condo uh, um, could probably afford a, uh, a uh, tax hike. Some kind of surtax yes. on, on high-end properties. Yes. Yes. All right, hold that thought and we'll continue our conversation in a moment with Boston mayoral candidate Joe Wiley. So please stay with us. Welcome back. We're talking uh, with Boston mayoral candidate Joe Wiley. The first of a series of interviews we'll be doing over the next couple of months with the Boston mayoral candidates. And um, 
You know, normally when there's an incumbent on the ballot, the vote is something of a referendum on that incumbent. We just talked about one area that you high are highlighting in your campaign where you feel the Walsh administration has fallen short of development of affordable housing. What else? You said uh, in your opening remarks here that you're ashamed at times of how things are going. What other issues are really making you angry and ashamed? Well, the, uh, I think the level of homelessness that we experience in this city is, is shameful. It is, uh, if I can use the word, it's immoral that we have 1,300 homeless families in this city. 3,000 of our school children are homeless. Um, this is the richest nation in the world, a very wealthy state, a very wealthy city. And how can we tolerate uh, children going home to, uh, from school to a bed that isn't really their own? Um, I, I think that is shameful. I, I think we've become so used to the, the, uh, the homelessness being with us that uh, uh, we've given up basically on, 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 on providing the homeless with uh, permanent housing. Finding a shelter bed for a child is not a solution and, and that is shameful. Okay, what else? How many decades are we going to uh, be talking about finally uh, creating uh, an excellent school system in this country? METCO just uh, celebrated its 50th uh, uh, anniversary. That's 50 years of thousands of Boston uh, parents uh, saying, well, my child can't get a, uh, an adequate education in the city. I have to send them to Concord or Brookline or, or uh, Wellesley. How long is this going to go on? How many, and I'm not blaming this on Mayor Walsh. She is, she's a first-term mayor. This has been going on for, for decades. And we can't seem to get our act together as far as finally uh, solving the issues that, uh, that uh, plague our schools. Well, one solution that some have looked to uh, is the uh, development of more charter schools, uh, which are uh, public schools which are, tend to be free from uh, union restrictions and can operate more freely. Uh, re uh, the mayor opposed uh, the ballot question last fall to expand the number of charter seats. Voters in the city voted against it. Where were you on that? I, I was against it as well. Um, uh, you, <laughs> first of all, charter schools have a mixed record. Uh, there are studies that have been done that say that, well, some charter schools are doing better than your public school, but many are, are doing just about the same, uh, producing the same results as a public school. And even if uh, we did increase the number of charter schools, we have 56,000 students in the city, so unless you're going to put them all in a, in a charter situation, the question still remains, what do you do about the majority, the education for the majority of, of our students? So briefly, under a Wiley administration, what would we be seeing uh, done differently with regard to public education? Well, the, the studies have been done uh, on, on urban education uh, that could, uh, there are enough studies that could fill this room. So we know what the solutions are, whether it's longer school days, whether it's more tutoring, whether it's uh, more working directly with parents. Uh, it's, we know what these solutions are, uh, but for some reason over the past 50, 60 years, uh, they just haven't been uh, applied. Our, our time is way too short. We've just scratched the surface here. If voters would like to learn more about you, where you stand on these and other issues, and about your campaign, how can they do it? Well, I do have a website, joeforboston.com, and I invite uh, everyone to uh, take a look and uh, see what other uh, issues uh, are discussed there, and, um, and I welcome everyone's help and support. Good luck, sir. John, thank you. Thank you for being thank here. You. Thank you. That's Joseph Wiley, Boston mayoral candidate. That's our time. Now I'm going to turn it back over to my colleagues for much more WBZ News.